What exactly is SeaMonkey's Cupid's Arrow? And how does it work? In this series, we're taking a look at every single sea monkey pouch under the microscope and testing them out on real sea monkeys. This alternative food packet, which is supposed to work as a mating powder, seems to be the one that intrigues people the most. Its effects have been likened to that of an aphrodisiac, so I'm curious to see if it really does work. This packet made its debut in 1968 and features a Joe Orlando illustration on the front, showing a female sea monkey watching as an angelic cupid lines up his bow to shoot an arrow into an unsuspecting male sea monkey. Flipping over to the back tells us how this mysterious powder is supposed to work. How to be a monkey's uncle. To encourage sea monkey mating, Cupid's arrow will help light their fire. It may help overcome the embarrassment of young inexperienced sea monkeys. To pull the bowstring, add a small scoop of Cupid's arrow with the sea monkey feeding spoon. If you see a boy sea monkey ardently hug his girlfriend and hang on tightly, you'll know it's working. But if more than one sea monkey grabs the same girl, you used too much and your pets are losing their minds. Sounds like a good time to me. So, this Cupid's arrow is making quite the claim. In my experience, brine shrimp engage in mating behavior when they're happy and comfortable in their environment. Adequate nutrition, temperature, water quality, that kind of thing. I have no idea how any kind of powder would expedite mating, but it would be super cool if it does work. So let's open it up and get a closer look. I'm starting to see a bit of a trend with these specialty food packets now. While I don't know their exact ingredients, they definitely seem to be formulated around the same base, with all of them having this earthy green coloured food, and of course the salt crystals. Again, the microscope helped me to spot a few eggs hiding in here. I kinda wish they'd disclosed the addition of these eggs on the actual packet ingredients, but at the very least, I am glad they put them in. To test this pouch, I'm going to use the 2023 crystal version of the Magic Castle tank, which is full of adult sea monkeys who don't appear to be particularly interested in mating. Some of the females are pregnant, though this has come via parthenogenesis or self-fertilization rather than through sexual means. I'm going to feed them small amounts of the Cupid's arrow mating powder over the next few days to see if I can get any of them to pair up. I'll update you guys later so we can watch them get it on in 4K. Hey guys, I've been keeping a close eye on this tank over the last few days because I was really curious to see if the Cupid's arrow actually worked. Now while it definitely hasn't produced any spectacular orgies, I am pleased to say that there are now two mating pairs in the tank and a whole lot of new babies. Is this the result of the Cupid's arrow? Again, it's difficult to say. I've never really had trouble getting my sea monkeys to mate. Given enough time and the right conditions, they'll eventually get it on without being prompted. The new babies in this tank could be from the eggs we saw in the food, or it might just be from all of the pregnant females in here. Either way, the Magic Castle is doing really well. I guess the next test is for me to try it out on myself. 